These are pony shafts made for a miniature horse. I buy these pre-bent and the mortises are kind of roughed in but I have to fit them to get the crossbar into each side. I don't want a lot of pressure top to bottom but I do like good tight pressure front to back or side to side. These shafts are made of hickory so they have a lot of strength, plus they have a lot of flexibility. I'm going to put these together in a kit form, so first I'm going to try to pre-fit all these mortises so that they fit well for the customer. Once I have the joints fitted and I take the clamps off to take any pressure off, I'm going to find that they really don't fit that well. You see how they don't really set very flat? And the tips are much wider than they should be. We want to be about 20 inches and we're about 22 and a half. And they just are crooked. So this little video is just about how I can adjust that to make these a usable set of shafts. To adjust wood or make it move you need three components. You need heat, you need moisture, and you need pressure. There's already about 10 to 12 percent moisture in this wood. I'm going to add pressure with my clamp and I'm going to use a cutting torch set to a very soft flame to add heat to the wood. Now with this soft flame, if I move rapidly, I'm not going to ever burn or char the wood, but I'm going to eventually bring it up so hot that I can't keep my hands on it that's when I can begin to adjust the wood. My first goal is to bring that 22 and a half inches between the tips down closer to the 20 inches. And because wood has spring or elasticity to it, I'm going to bring it closer to that. I'm going to bring it down to about 18 inches. So as I warm this crossbar up, I'm going to occasionally add pressure to the clamp, which is going to cause a bow to go into the crossbar. This way I only have to bend one piece of wood to bring the tips together as opposed to bending both sides of the shafts to try to bring them together. To get the wood this hot without burning it actually takes about 20 minutes. But I finally get to the point that I have my tips close to 18, maybe 18 and a half. And now I can begin to twist the crossbar so that the sides of the shafts sit flat. As I put the pressure to the shafts, I can feel the wood move. So I've got the shafts to where they set flat, but I'm going to try to bring the tips a little closer together. This method does not really allow for extreme bending, but it is a very viable way to adjust wood where it needs to go. Now held in this position, 
I'm going to let this crossbar cool down. Once the wood is cool, even back to cold, I'm going to relax the, the pipe clamp and see where I'm at. So now these shafts sit flat. I have my distance of 20 inches, which is workable for a miniature. You can see the bow and the crossbar. And now I have a usable set of shafts that I can finish the kit. Now this is another application where I can adjust wood simply by adding heat. This is the back circle of a pole that is used to hook a team to a buggy or wagon. This pole circle was broken and so I need to replace it. This also is a piece of wood that I buy pre-bent and one size never fits all. This one is too narrow. So what I need to do is to relax the bend and open it up. This is also a piece of hickory. It's an inch and five eighths thick by two inches deep. I'm going to concentrate with a soft flame most of the heat to the inside of the arch of this pole circle. If you remember, bending wood involves compressing the fibers on the inside arch. So by using the moisture that's already there, adding heat, and then enough pressure, I can cause those inside fibers to relax enough to open this up to make it usable. Now I personally did not like the thick heavy ends of the old piece of wood, so I'm going to relax these out past where they were on the old one so I can actually trim them down and make the style a little more refined. Now once again, when the wood gets hot enough that you can't leave your hands on it, you can actually feel the wood start to give. So now you can see how much I've relaxed this actually past the original and now I can start to make it fit.
So these are two occasions when I can take a cutting torch with a soft flame using the moisture that's naturally in the wood, add the heat, put a little pressure on it, and make the wood move to where it fits where it has to. Once again, thanks for watching.